All right, fresh video of Vikram lander on the moon. Here's the image that comes in. Another instrument on board the rover confirms the presence of sulfur within that region through another unique technique. In fact, what, what sulfur really means this time uh, as per uh, scientists is that there could be traces of water ice. And that, that, and that is why it's a big breakthrough that the Pragyan rover has managed to detect sulfur on the surface of the moon. In fact, the technique here, the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectroscope, the APXS as it's called, has detected S as well as other minor elements. S is sulfur. The video shows an automated hinge mechanism rotating the 18 centimeter tall APXS, aligning the detector head to be approximately 5 centimeters in proximity to the lunar surface. PRL Ahmedabad has developed APXS with support from the PRL Ahmedabad. URSC Bengaluru has de developed the, de and deployed that mechanism. And this is a video that's been released by ISRO to sort of try and break down what it means uh, and how exactly have they managed to find sulfur on the moon. This is a fresh video of Pragyan rover on the moon. Another instrument on board the rover confirms the presence of sulfur. In fact, in fact, the rover has six payloads and you have different mechanisms through which they try and drill into the surface of the moon and detect on the soil, detect the soil composition, try and understand the surface, what, what exactly is found on the surface of the moon. Uh, they found craters, of course. Uh, they found sulfur. They've gone on to find a lot more in terms of uh, iron um, and, and a, a, a few more minerals that the rover has already managed to find. But why sulfur is the most important is because it indicates that there could be water ice on the surface of the moon. And water ice is basically nothing but uh, a, a source of oxygen. This in eventually, inevitably uh, shows signs of life, that life can prevail on the surface of the moon. It's of course a huge moment for ISRO and India as we see that the rover, another mechanism of the rover now has managed to find sulfur on the moon's surface. Uh, so like I mentioned, uh, it is basically using uh, another instrument on board that rover that confirms sulfur and that instrument is called the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectroscope. It's called the APXS that has detected sulfur. This, this instrument too has detected sulfur, which again reiterates uh, ISRO's stand here that sulfur is indeed uh, present on the moon's surface. And sulfur means there could be water ice. In fact, this very rover and its mechanism has also managed to detect uh, aluminium, calcium, iron, and more. So uh, in every sense, this is a breakthrough in space exploration, India really leading that field uh, or, or leading this area of uh, moon exploration, space exploration. The rover now detecting sulfur, another part, another instrument of the rover detecting sulfur means uh, that it, it almost confirms the rover's first laser-induced breakdown spectroscope that had earlier detected sulfur. Now it is the Alpha Particle X-ray spe Spectroscope, the APXS, that's also detected sulfur on the surface of the moon. This is a new fresh video that has been uh, released by uh, ISRO itself and it really speaks of a lot on how advanced uh, this Chandrayaan-3 mission has been and India has been quite focused around trying to understand uh, the composition uh, of, of the soil on the moon's surface and in every way how does it really affect uh, how does it affect space atmosphere? Uh, this also, in, in a larger sense, gives an understanding on the weather conditions and seismic activity that could uh, inevitably impact Earth. So the rover here and the images showing yet again uh, a second instrument of that rover, Pragyan, also detecting sulfur. Uh, confirming the first study that was done uh, that was done initially through another instrument that was called the laser induced breakdown test, uh, spectroscope that had earlier detected sulfur now you have another instrument called the alpha particle x-ray spectroscope that's also detected sulfur on the moon Pramo joining us on the phone line. Pramo has been really tracking uh, ISRO's movements and, and the way they're trying to maneuver this rover right from that center in, uh, in Bengaluru. Pramo, this video that's come out of ISRO shows another instrument that's also detected sulfur on the moon. Uh, I, I've broken it down in as many ways, but tell us how important is this, specifically sulfur, to be found on the moon's surface? 
Nabila, what are these uh, particular sensors? The first one called as the lip sensor, and the, uh, the, uh, the present one called as uh, uh, AP X sensor, which also can be ca called as alpha particle X ray spectroscope, are sensors which use light and X ray in particular to identify and uh, detect an element and uh, make sure that like uh, there is no wrong uh, kind of readings being done. That's the reason these are very important. And the first element that has been detected by, uh, ambigu unambiguously detected by uh, uh, these uh, uh, sensors are sulfur. However, this rover has also gone ahead. It has detected calcium, titanium, chromium, and also oxygen. And the most important element, in fact, we spoke to one of the professors who was part of LIBS yesterday from Madras, uh, uh, like IIT Madras. He said that hydrogen also is something that they are like uh, really waiting to discover because that will actually prove the presence of water over there. So each and every way they are trying to find each element and calibrate and find, like using multiple sensors, they are trying to find it out so that the actual terrain, the surface, what the moon is made of, and the components will be clearly catalogued for future scientific experiments. Right, Pramod, uh, this, is, this is a breakthrough undoubtedly for scientists, not just in India, not just in ISRO. Uh, one should know that this is material and fodder for uh, science and technology all over the world. It's, it's uh, something that's been very keenly observed by scientists in every part of the globe uh, who's been uh, trying to understand the nuances of space and, and Chandrayaan 3's mission has really been a leader in that. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV.